everybody, it's your crazy fangirl Shimey. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. So today we're going to be reacting to the final episode of season five of Outlander. Oh, it's been, oh, it's been a very, very long time to this moment. Um, I just wanted to do a small warning though. I apologize if I'm not in the best mood today. Unfortunately, I had some sad news yesterday, and um, I found out that. The woman who I look up to as my grandmother passed away. She was a very special person in my life and I didn't expect this to happen so I'm still in a little bit of shock and kind of taking it in. Um, so yeah, I apologize if I'm not as upbeat as I usually am. Um, yeah, it's just been a really tough few days and there's a lot of other stuff going on unfortunately. So yeah, like, uh, I just wanted to warn you guys that I'm, I apologize because even last week apparently I wasn't the same, so, um, I apologize if I wasn't too upbeat as I usually am, um, but I'm gonna try my best, um, after this, uh, like, reaction of this episode, I am gonna take a little bit of a break just for myself. But anyway, we were left on a bit of a cliffhanger last episode, um, Claire was taken by those stupid brothers, and Jamie obviously found out that she's missing, so obviously he lit the cross, and then Brianna and Roger, where did they end up? We don't know. Well, I don't know, because I haven't watched the episode yet. But before that, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment if you guys enjoyed this video, but also to keep up up to date with all my other reactions to more TV shows, video games, and movies. So without further ado, let's just jump straight into this. Oh! oh Claire! Jamie! Oh my god! Oh, it looks like season one feels. What? Oh, so it's like... Oh... Murder! Oh! <laughs> what? This is crazy! What's happening? <sighs> I think he's from the future. Yeah, he's from the future. What? No! No! Jemmy, maybe. Well, I don't know, that's weird. I wonder why that happened. Stand by my side, son of my house. Oh, Roger! Character development! I'm guessing um, with this sort of environment though, Claire's kind of using it as kind of like that, like, um, because like, uh, well, I'll pause it. Um, no, because a lot of victims of rape or like, you know, like multiple rapes, as I've heard from stories, which I'm not sure are true, but there are stories that I've seen and read um, where they just try to think of something else and not be in the moment or to try to like not dehumanize the moment, but they're just trying to not take in what's going on in front of them and obviously what's going on. Um, I can't imagine what that's like, but... Obviously, I'm guessing this is what they're trying to show is maybe Claire kind of thinking into maybe like a happier place or maybe just another like another like thought that she has. So I'm guessing this may have been like a dream sequence she may have had at one point in her life. And maybe she's just using that as like that center point of just what to think of um, while going through this traumatic experience. <sighs> uh, I'm yeah. <laughs> oh, come on, Claire, wake up. Yes! Kill them all! Kill them all! <gasps> yes! Ian! Oh yes, Fergus! <laughs> Heck yeah! Strike them down! Kill them all! Yes! Oh! Heck yeah to that guy in the red coat! I hate him! Roger! Yes! Oh, but that's his first kill, isn't it? Ugh. Oh, 
Jamie. <laughs> Kill them all! <laughs> oh. She looks so lost. Oh. Yeah, Brianna would be a great help to Claire at this moment. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, Jamie's been through too. You can, you can survive, survive this, this too. too. Oh no. Claire, don't. Think of your happy place. I know that's the worst thing to say. Yeah. Uh, I'm just gonna pause, and I know people are probably gonna be like, Shami, what the F are you? Why are you not crying? I'm just gonna say it. It's because I've been crying my eyes out for most of the night. <laughs> I don't think I'm full of tears at the moment, but I am, trust me, <laughs> I hate watching scenes like this and, oh, I'm just gonna say it, Katrina's doing such an amazing job to portray, like, the trauma, but even just, like, you know, going through the rounds, you know, like, uh, like, you know, trying to be doing the normal thing, like, you know, she got up, she got dressed, and, you know, she went down, even though that man was there. Ugh, should be killed um but you know that's like that's something that i love when like tv shows especially tv shows like this go into you know detail about like even especially they don't go into detail about the actual like event but they go into detail about the post traumatic stress that can be brought on um after these events and they portray it so beautifully in this and that's what breaks my heart um you know like w like even though I'm, and I'm hoping many of us haven't been through such a traumatic event like this, um, to see someone in so much pain that, you know, like, it's just all built up in their body. Because the way Katrina was just portraying it was just, like, in her body. Like, you can feel her kind of, like, just, like, going in on herself, like, curling up in a ball. Like, that hurts. And, oh, it's just like, you just want to help them. Yeah, so... <sighs> The, the acting so far in this episode is amazing and the cinematography is amazing. I know I'm not saying much, but it's just like I'm just taking it in and again, I apologise if this isn't the best reaction. It's just my mind's all over the place, but let's get back into it. Smile, thank you very much. So when you're good and ready. You're alright, Marsley. Don't let him get on your nerves. She took an oath to do no harm. Oh! Oh! You hurt my family. You hurt my men. I want you burn in hell before I let you harm another soul in this house. Oh shit. Was she supposed to do that? I did this one. You sure about that, mate? Because you deserve that. Well, not necessarily him. It was more the brother. But did you really love your brother? That weirdo? Ugh. Are you disappointed? No. Why? Because you wanted to stop the thing. Because you wanted to take us home. Aww, that's nice. Yay! Aw, clear.
Oh, don't say that. <laughs> oh. Am I? Of course you are. I just want to pause that, but how beautiful of a moment to just see, like, oh, like, this is so beautiful, just, like, him just holding her, cradling her as if she was, like, a child in his arms, like, making sure that she felt secure and safe and asking how she felt. <sighs> That's the sweetest thing anybody could do for anyone, whether it's like a lover or two people, but especially lovers in this case, when they're, you know, completely naked, raw, and just all these raw emotions are just there, you know. Oh. I love this couple. <laughs> What? What was that? That's it! Oh, that's lovely though. That is... Oh, I didn't expect it to end like that though for this season though. It is a nice ending, I will admit. I, it, like, it's such a like soft ending to Outlander that we've never gotten before. And it's strange because I'm like expecting like big spectacles to happen all the time. But I guess they wanted to kind of soften the blow, which is like... That's good on them for doing that, because they could have just done that whole thing. And then at the very end, something happened with those um, brothers. Um, and especially with that guy at the very end, the other brother. Like, saying, like, he'll come after Jamie and stuff afterwards. So, that's very... <laughs> that's a very different ending to Outlander that we've gotten, like, in a very long time. Like, we've never gotten, like, a chill ending. There's always something big that happens at the end and leaves us on a cliffhanger. But it wasn't! What a full-on episode. I had seen that there were warnings about, you know, like, like if it's quite graphic and stuff, but I didn't realize it was rape. So, Jesus, like, ugh, I did not realize. But what a woman Claire is. Like she said, she's a survivor. And, you know, we all knew that she was going to get through this. And, you know, I think she is, especially with the support she has. I knew straight away that, especially someone said it in my comments last week, and I was like, Oh, wait, true. Um, you know, like, whatever was gonna happen to Claire, like, Brianna and Roger had come back for a reason. Like, they hadn't gone home because of, perhaps, you know, they ne she needed them. Um, so she did need them. And I think it was essential to have Roger in that battle as well, fighting for Claire, because, um, that kind of connects also to the other episode that involved these brothers, the first episode that involved them. Um, and, you know, Claire told Roger, like, you, you... Um, Jamie just handed over his most prized possession to Roger to look after, which was Claire. So I guess, like, that kind of comes full circle to this and him coming back and helping, Ro um, and helping Jamie reclaim his most precious prize, which was Claire. Um, oh, what a beautiful episode. I absolutely loved it. Um, it was, yeah, like, the emotions were high. And I, again, like, I apologize, like, my, I, again, I'm just, like, not desensitized, but I'm, like, my mind's all over the place at the moment. Like, I literally was checking my phone throughout this whole thing because there's some, there's some stuff going on and I... Ugh, it's not fun. <laughs> but um, I'm going to give a full analysis of this season because um, I love this show and, yeah, let's talk about it. So let's f first finish off talking about this episode. So, yeah, from beginning to end... Emotions were high, and cinematography in this episode though was very well done. And oh, seeing Murta, and then everybody in like the real world, like the 60s or 80s sort of vibe, I was like, oh my god, like why my emotions? What are you doing? And then like Jocasta and Murta, like oh, they were so pretty. But yeah, just like seeing that kind of like happy place sort of thing, like where she was kind of like focusing her mind on, that was very interesting. I like how she kind of did that. That was really really good and I like how they filmed it so it was kind of like dreamlike so it was like you knew like it wasn't obviously real so I liked how they filmed it again 
especially Katrina in this episode. What amazing acting and, and also Sam, both of them. They're all they're both amazing leads and everybody did an amazing job, but those two, our leads, amazing in this episode overall. Like oh, especially, you know, again with Claire, like amazing. Like there was that one part I told you about where, you know, she just looks so lost. Very beautiful portrayal of that. That was so well done. Like, just feeling like the emotions were high, obviously, still. Like, the shock had faded, but the emotions were, like, obviously just there. Like, obviously up to here. So she's trying to control herself and keep herself calm. And she's just, like, looking around, like, lost. Beautiful job. And then Sam, when he was, like, pissed, you could just see the anger just, like, rising. Especially when he came over to Claire, like, in, like, the bed of, like, leaves and stuff. Um, held up against the tree, you could see his anger just, like, rising. And then when they did the close-ups of him, like, he was just, like, like, just pure anger. And, oh, beautifully done. And then when he says, kill them all. I kept thinking of Game of Thrones when they said that. I was like, burn them all, kill them all. Like, oh, throwback to that show. Anyway, gonna move on and talk about the whole season. So the whole season, I will say... It was very good. I will say that this is much better than last season. Like, last season was pretty good. There was a lot of montages last season. I was complaining a little bit about that. But this season, it actually was quite good. We had different episodes each time. And you weren't really sure where it was going sometimes. So I really, really enjoyed that. And especially as someone who's never read the books, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Sometimes it was like, okay, this is a bit of a boring episode. It's dragging too long. Everything that happened this season was so good. I loved the little moments between Jamie and Claire. Those were really, really beautiful. I was talking about this in the comments last week as well with someone, like talking about the little moments that they shared. That was beautiful. And they've done that a lot through this season. I'm really, really happy. Um, Roger and Brianna, I'm kind of warming up to, but not fully there. I'm still not like sold on their romance, but like I, I'm coming to like them, um, especially Roger, because you guys know I'm not the biggest fan of Roger. Um, I was very supportive of him with that episode, you know, like with him going through his own thing, but I'm starting to warm up to him a little bit, slowly. Brianna, I think I might need a little bit more time. <laughs> She's lovely, but like, I need to warm up to her a little bit more. Um, Marcy and Fergus, you guys know how much I love them, so I don't even need to talk about them. This episode brought up the re reminder that um, Jocasta and Murta aren't together and just hurt me. I was like, are you trying to make me even more sad that my ship has sunk? Um, yeah, so that's another thing that I loved about this episode. Like, I know that people were talking about the fact that Ulysses and Jocasta are supposed to be together. I would have loved that, even if like, Myrtle wasn't there. Like, I would so be into that. Um, so I hope that they cover that more in the next season. Um, oh, but they won't because John's taken Ulysses, hasn't he? Oh, damn. Okay, I don't think that's happening. Oh, but I want it to happen. I want to find out more about that romance. I really did like the Stephen Bonnet stuff. I am a little disappointed again. Like, people were saying, like, you know, it was supposed to go on for, like, another book. But then they, like, squashed it into one episode. So I'm surprised. They could have... And I thought they were going to, like, push it out into two episodes. But they didn't, which was really surprising. But, I mean, that was their choice. And that's totally okay. Um... But they did a really good job with that storyline. But I do wish that we got more episodes with Stephen Bonnet because it just seemed like we were going to see so much of him. But it was more just the idea of him and the, like, just people bringing him up that kept him in the story for so long. So that was a little bit disappointing because I thought at least for two more episodes we'd see him until at least episode 11 and then perhaps this whole event would happen. But it, obviously it didn't, which is fair enough. But again, overall, I really enjoyed this season. Like, surprisingly, like, I went in with a really negative mind. You guys know that but I t I fell in love with it very very quickly and just fell more in love with what was going on and you know I think the one big letdown though the massive letdown though was the whole thing with Brianna and Jamie and I spoke about this in the last episode I wanted more from their relationship and I wish that there was because you know they speak again of how close they are and like you know how loving they are to one another and how much they like love and respect each other but we hardly saw that through the whole season and last episode we got that beautiful moment and I'm I'm really glad we did because we didn't get anything else um so I hope that they take into consideration that they need to show more between Brianna and Jamie as sp father and daughter especially because of the fact that you know they were saying like you know how close they are and stuff and you know like how much he doesn't want to lose her etc especially in the first episode you know there was so much m like room for them to do characterization between those two characters but nah there wasn't any so I hope that next um season um that they do and again 
I'm not even sure what's going to happen next season. Obviously, it's going to have stuff to do with the revolution. Um, so that's going to be really, really interesting to see what happens there and like what consequences that has on them. It obviously has something to do with those um, Brown brothers, I think. Oh, I'm not sure. You guys can correct me on that. My mind's all over the place. But yeah, that brother, he's probably going to come after them during the revolution. Um, so that's going to be interesting, the effects that has on them. Obviously, there's going to be a big fight. Um, and I want, yeah, like I'm trying to think like what else is going to happen. I'm wondering. So I guess we'll have to wait and see until next season. So thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give a like, subscribe, comment, and tell me your thoughts on the very last episode of the fifth season of Outlander and oh, Droughtlander is going to be a long time. Um, I'm not sure when they're going to start filming this next season, especially with the whole coronavirus stuff in going on. Um, it's going to be a while, I'm guessing. <clears throat> Excuse me, don't know what's up with my throat. <sighs> but before I go, I just wanted to say, please give me some recommendations for shows. Um, I'd love to react to some stuff because at the moment Star Wars is finished forever and then Outlander is obviously finished for this season. And a lot of other shows, um, I'm not sure obviously when they're coming out because I was going to start reacting to Stranger Things. I Don't worry, I'm up to date with that. But, you know, they, w they said that it was going to be released this year and I was like, Oh, I'm going to react to that on my channel. Of course I am. Um, but obviously we haven't gotten anything, sadly, because there is some stuff I think they have to film still. Um, so that won't be out for a while. But yeah, please give me some recommendations. I'm happy to try them out. Um, and I'll check out the teasers and stuff. And if they do seem interesting, I will do a reaction to them. And yeah, just let me know and I'll look into it. Oh, this reaction's coming to an end. So I just want to say, especially to the people who love Outlander and watch these reactions, thank you guys so much for staying in tune with these. Um, thank you for being patient with me and for, you know, obviously to catch up to the episodes and obviously putting up with my opinions. I know some of them some of you you didn't like but I'm really grateful that you guys have been kind to me and I love you guys so much so thank you guys for the support and I hope I will see you when season 6 comes out so again thank you guys so much for watching this and I'll see you guys in the next video crazy fangirl out Woo!